This is the fastest way to level up in the game, and this is how you max out your blocks for overnight. These are 10 of the craziest tricks that pros abuse that you don't. So first up is the Buddha farming technique, and this technique is the best in the whole game if you want to level up as fast as possible. So the way you do this trick is you just need a Buddha fruit, you don't even need to upgrade it, you don't need to master it at all. What you want to use this fruit is for its size. So when you transform using your Buddha, basically what it does it increases the range that you can hit your enemy. So it lets you damage your enemies, but they can't damage you back. Usually it's best to use this fruit with a combat style, but you can also use it with swords depending on what level you are in the game. And the best fighting style to use with this is probably God Human or Superhuman. If you're still in the first sea, then you probably want to use Water Kung Fu. Some other perks about this is that even when enemies do hit you, you take 50% less damage because of how the Buddha works. Man, I wish someone told me this trick when I was still level 200. While we're still on the topic of the Buddha fruit, I'm gonna tell you how to always win your raids. So, obviously you're gonna have to equip the Buddha fruit, and you want to choose a light raid. And once you get to the Awakened Light, light boss in the pyramid. All you have to do is stand behind the wall exactly like this and the overpowered reach of the Buddha just lets you hit the boss without the boss being able to hit you. So you can just stand behind this wall and just maybe leave on an auto click or just spam left click till you drain away at its health. Another tip is if you want to reduce just a bit of a time on your raid, make sure you dash to your next islands instead of getting in the boat and driving to them. For this next trick, I bet it's something that you definitely did not know. Auto clickers and macros are allowed in blocks fruits. It even says so in the game's description. What this does is it makes it 10 times easier to do things like aura farming, observation farming, and even devil fruit farming. So if you want to aura farm, what you do is you just stand on the spawn point of the user, activate your aura, and just leave an auto clicker on. And if you have an elemental type fruit, they just can't hit you, but you can hit them, which upgrades your aura. If you want to farm your devil fruit, all you have to do is get a macro that just repeats repeats the same key of one of your devil fruit abilities and you can leave these macros and auto clickers overnight to just instantly farm up to a really high level. Now this trick shows you a way to complete your quests a lot faster. You know when you're in a boss quest and you just have to wait for the boss to respawn and it takes forever? You can use this little trick called server hopping. Basically you just look at the top left of your screen, you click on servers and then you just simply join a new server. And there's a good chance that in that new server the boss you need to kill is still alive. So you can use this method as many times as you want. This lets you get more XP and lets you finish your quests much faster. While we're on the theme of server hopping, here's another trick to let you farm money really fast. So what you do is you go to the upper skylands and you make your way over to this big tower. And then you walk through this exact entrance and then you either no clip or break it using an ability. And then there should be a bunch of chests here, which gives you around $7,000. And then you can just server hop and do the exact same thing again. And you can do this as many times as you like. And there's a pretty low chance that these chests will be taken because not many players in the game know this spot. Another way you could AFK farm money is using the auto clicking trick from before. When you're playing blocks routes, you frequently have to travel to different islands. And well, the fastest way to do it is is simply using the light fruit. The light fruit has the fastest method of travel in the whole game. I know some of you might say that the enforcer boat is a bit faster, but if you count the time that it takes for a player to spawn in the boat, the light fruit definitely beats it. Another thing about the light fruit that you can't do with a boat is fly in the sky. For example, if you wanted to fly up the skylands, you can't really fly with the boat, can you? You have to do it using the light fruit. This next one is just a pretty weird glitch, and you can use it to find some really cool easter eggs in the game. I'm obviously talking about no clipping. So the way to no clip is you have to have shift lock turned on. Then you walk up to a wall and then you just have to angle your camera in a really weird way. It's different for each wall. And then you use your flash step. And if you do all of these steps correctly, it should teleport you through the wall. And once you're underneath places, you can see some pretty weird things that the developers definitely did not want you to see. This next one is for people that aren't playing on the best of devices. Well, all you have to do is turn on fast mode. Fast mode makes your game lag way less. And even people with good PCs use this sometimes. You can use it for things like lighting up really dark spaces. Like on this ship quest, like man, it was really dark. But if you turn on fast mode, it makes the place much brighter. Here's a before and after. This next one lets you kill bosses that are much higher level than you. 
So using this fishman boss as an example, you can kind of trap him behind a pillar like this and if you turn on your observation hockey, you can see exactly where he is. And using the right kind of sword, combat style or any type of ability, you can hit him through the wall. And once he gets launched back or gets pushed away, you can just readjust yourself so he's still trapped and you just keep repeating this till the boss is dead. This next one is more for PvP than it actually is for grinding. So if you go into your settings on the left here and then you turn on damage counter, what this does is it lets you see exactly how much damage you do to someone. So when you hit a character five times, it shows you the overall combo damage that you've done. This can help you with many things like testing how much damage each of your ability does and how to fight much better in PvP. When you're PvPing someone and you hit them and you see that you've done a lot of damage but their health has barely gone down, then maybe it's a fight that you shouldn't be taking.